Andreas Georgiou here at Glory 31 in Amsterdam, the Amsterdam Ryan, now joined by the new interim light heavyweight champion, Zach Moikasa. The smile on your face says it all. It paints a thousand words, really, but I just want to get your immediate thoughts on winning the light heavyweight world title. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's a really fulfilling feeling. Uh, I've worked pretty hard for this. And it's been a long road, like I said before. It's been a long road and, uh, and everything is paying off. It's great, you know, it makes you feel like you, you're not wasting your time. You are doing something right. I think the last time we spoke was in Lille, France, when, you know, you won on that card as well. Uh, it's been a genuine pleasure watching the progression. You know, first time, as we said in the press conference, Pat Barry, you burst onto the scene. There was a lot of expectations. It was a bit up and down after that, but we finally got here. We got to this fight and Morab Bazidi put up a, a tremendous effort, but you knocked him down three times to get the win. For you, it, it always seemed like your, a bit of your kryptonite was if, if they disabled your legs, if they took your legs out because of the punching power, you struggle a bit. Morad couldn't do that tonight. Was that the X factor? Um, I think uh, I like to say that I'm blessed with, uh, with, with physical strength, with a lot of power in my hand. And uh, I have a lot of respect for Buzidi. I think he's a great fighter, a lot of experience. He's full of all the great guys. He's not afraid of anybody. Yeah. I knew Murad was not afraid of me. I knew that for sure. Yeah. I knew I was going into a fight. I'm fighting this guy, but he's not afraid of me because he's fought bigger guys than me. So that was another reason why I needed to be 150% ready. I was I sharpened yeah. my skills. I have sharpened my skills. So I went to this fight uh, a little bit, not quite sure in the beginning until I heard his interview when he say that uh, my boxing skills are overrate, um, overrated. Yeah. overrated. Yeah. And he's going to box with me. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> okay. I think that's a great idea. That's made me feel like, okay, cool. It's did not gonna be did that annoy you? Uh, it annoyed me, yeah. yeah. Uh, one part of me was annoyed because I don't, uh, I don't. You're a I, calmly spoken <laughs> guy, you know, when, yeah, when someone I, says something like that. I want to make it, I just want to make it a sport. I don't want to mm. make it personal. You know, I don't want anybody to get hurt or something like that because I, I think I got enough power to do that. And that's not what I want. So when I heard that, I got annoyed a little bit. But on the other side, I said, okay, you know what? That's good. It means it's going to yeah. be a short night. I mean, you're a guy that you always talk about. It's a journey, not the destination. You, you revealed in the press conference you had to fly back home to, to give a talk. Um, I want to get your immediate thoughts on whether you thought that, that if it ever came into your mind that that may impact your fight or if that was the least of your worries and you wanted to go and make a difference with this talk. Uh, I thought it could be a factor impacting my, my performance if I had lost. Yeah. So it, it comes down to a mental thing. So, and I lost this fight, I would have said it's because I traveled. Yeah. So now that I win, I would say that it didn't affect me. <laughs> so it's also excuses yeah. in, in some sense. I think I had to make a decision. A human beings should be ashamed to die if you don't do anything for the community. I think I have a great story to share with a lot of yeah. young people and I had to do it. So I was invited in Ivory Coast to do it. I went to Africa for five days, put a stop on my training, released my book, spoke to a lot of people, uh, filled a lot of heart, mm -hmm. and for me that was my gift. And I felt that God above would look after me. So that's how I went about this. Tell me a bit more about the book. The book is in French. It's called "Réveiller le Champion en vous." In English, it means "Awakening the Champion within you." Yeah. So uh, everybody's got a champion inside himself. But the way you pursue, the way you see life is what defines how your life is. Yeah. So if you see yourself as a champion, you see yourself as a person that can achieve whatever you want, you can achieve anything, there's nothing you cannot achieve. I was never a boxer, never had an amateur, amateur boxing experience. Yeah. I jump into it, bombing people out, becoming African heavyweight yeah. champion, intercontinental champion. Never had any kickboxing experience. Knocked out Pat Berry. You, you know the list. Yeah. Look, now I have your champion of the world. What can stop you? <laughs> Nothing can stop you. Only you can stop you. I want Goku and Saki so I can kick his ass too. Because nothing can stop you. You know, I want to show the world that you can do anything you want to do. Anything you want to do. Yeah. Let nobody tell you you cannot do this, you cannot do that. You can achieve anything you want to do if you put your mind, your soul into it. And, that, and that's the next big challenge, Goku and Saki? Oh yeah, Saki, I want Gokan Saki. 
I think Gokan Saki is a good fighter. He's got a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah I like his fighting style, mm -hmm. and I would love to fight him. I think it would be great. I think, don't you want to see me fight? Saki? I'd love to see that fight. So who doesn't <laughs> want to see me fight Saki? I want to fight Saki. Yeah. Uh, what about Vahitov? He's the champion. Is he going to go to the back of the line now? I, I'm more interested <laughs> in Saki than Vahitov. I think Vahitov is still very young, still got time. Uh, Saki and I are about the same age, so we can make a big fight happen. You know? I'd love to see that. I can yeah. see John Franklin smiling behind the camera. I think that would be a tremendous fight for the fans. Gokan Saki versus at Moikasa. Is there a possibility that can happen? Because Gokan Saki's been on that inactivity list for quite some time now. I think it's very possible. Everything is possible. If he wants, it's possible. If you want, it's possible. If you don't want, you find any sort of reason not to make it happen. If you want to make something happen, you can make it happen. Uh, I think I, I think I think Zach Moikasa versus Gokan Saki is the fight I want to see. <laughs> Well, you heard it here first in MMA Plus. Zach Moycaster, the new interim light heavyweight champion, and he wants Go Kansaki next. Bombs and drama. <laughs> Bombs and drama. Bombs and drama. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thank you.